Well, that's the point. We don't know exactly what it's going to look like. All we know is it's coming. It's even stronger than Hurricane Hugo. Once it gets on the ground, the velocity will be more, but it'll be crawling across the ground, which means more and more rain. So, folks, we have a hurricane coming. That's not really good for me at all. I had plans. I had plans to do a lot of cool stuff in the next week or two. But if this hurricane comes, Hurricane Florence, it's going to put a wrench in all my plans. But it is what it is. The plus side to all this, it gives me a little downtime to do something I've been wanting to do a long time. I've got a boat that I'm just going to let you look at it and you'll understand why. Here is my kayak right here. Okay zoom out so you guys can see it this is my kayak I've just stripped it down and as you look at it there's something wrong with this kayak right I'll let you just give you a minute so you can figure out what's wrong with it the biggest thing that's wrong with this kayak is that it's pink I don't want a pink kayak pink kayak is not exactly desirable for me so what I'm about to do is we're going to paint the kayak because well, for a couple reasons. Number one, I don't think it's a good idea to have a bright colored kayak fishing in knee deep water. Obviously if a fish can feel my little two and a half inch TRD coming through the water, I'm pretty sure he knows when that 10 foot pink kayak is coming. So. Um, I'd like to have something that blends in a little bit more natural with nothing else. So we got to get rid of the paint. How are we going to do that? We're just going to paint it. Simple paint. I know what you're thinking. Well, won't the paint scratch off? Yes, it will. But all I'm trying to do is just knock off some of that bright, brilliant salmon pink that's on my kayak right here. So we're going to knock it off. I've got some paint here. I'll show you guys what colors I'm going with here. So I've got some uh, some gray couple couple different colors of gray light gray dark gray I'm gonna kind of use these colors as a base coat then I've also got some blues and look at that what'd you call that like a mauve green is that a such thing I don't even know if that's a thing but so I've got sort of like this color combo that I'm going with here light blue well I got like a royal blue a green and two grays that I'm going with that I'm gonna paint the kayak now how exactly I'm about to do that I have no idea all I know is I'm gonna do is I stripped everything stripped everything off my kayak the seats everything now <clears throat> before I even get started in this video I know exactly what you guys are about to say well don't you need rod holders don't you need this don't you need anchors don't you need that well maybe you do but when I use a kayak, typically I'm using a kayak doing something that I probably really shouldn't be doing. So I might take this kayak and drag it 500 yards through the woods. So I don't have a lot of room for a bunch of extra stuff on my kayak. It's got to be very streamlined and basic and simple and very lightweight because I might drag it a long ways. So I like to keep mine real simple. The only thing I'm going to add on to it is right here on the nose. We're going to add a gator guard patch, um, a gator patch to this just to uh, take some of the brunt of all of that abrasion that it gets from, you know, just dragging it so much. We're going to do one here, maybe one at the uh, stern of the kayak. I'm probably going to make my seating a little bit more comfortable. On this kayak, you just kind of sit on the bottom. And that's it. Typically when I'm kayaking, all I'm going to have is one rod, a backpack, and maybe a cooler at best. You gotta keep it simple because number one, I'm gonna flip my kayak over every time I take it out. I don't think I've ever fished out of my kayak and not turned it over. So I don't need to turn over a kayak with eight rods, a whole tackle locker, a live wheel, and all that. All I want is my backpack. I want one, maybe two rods, a cooler. That's it. I just need this thing to be light so I can get it where I want it to go. So let's get started on our Project Kayak. We got to turn this pink piece of salmon, the salmon boat, that's what we'll call it, the salmon boat. We got to turn it into something pretty. So here's some of the stuff that I am going to put on my kayak. You know, I mentioned 
putting something on the uh, on the bow on the bottom of the boat just to keep it from wearing down from dragging it through the woods on gravel asphalt I just drag my boat wherever I need to drag it well gator patch we're going to use a gator patch and this is work sort of like a kill protector on my kayak so what this is this is just a three inch by six inch patch it's just a peel and stick real easy to use you can sand it down paint it I got three of those that I'm going to put on, on the bow on the keel of my kayak keep that protected and I'm also going to use my gator skins as well so gator skins just is something that you could put in a high traffic area somewhere you think you're going to get a lot of uh, abrasion I'm probably going to put it on the sides of my kayak actually right down the sides because you see you can see like those cuts inside the kayak I don't want to cut a hole in there so a lot of times you're dragging by I might drag it over a fence, I might drag it on the side, I might drag it by trees. That's a real high abrasion area. So I'll put my gator patch on the side right here just to uh, add like an extra buffer there. Not really going to be using this. Typically what this is made for is like if you if you got your boat or on the side fenders of your trailer, you know, you can use this as uh, something easy to step on. But it's also a great abrasion resistant patch. I'm going to do uh, in this little kayak is I'm actually get my stuff here I'm actually going to uh, to wipe this deal down with a little acetone just to make sure it's good and clean and there's no grease on it the deal is I bought this kayak for 75 bucks at Dix off a of clearance rack so I'm winning regardless of what happens in this I'm winning I couldn't turn that down and I don't really use my kayak that much. I'll use it a dozen times a year probably. Some acetone to get it real clean so the paint sticks to it best as it can. So you can see right here this is where I'm going to put my uh, gator patch. That's the nose or the kill of my kayak. You see it takes a lot of brunt going over shoals, dragging it across the asphalt and so forth. And it's just something you got to do when you're kayaking. You know I just don't, I don't have a tandem trailer carry it around on. I don't care to have a dolly. None of that extra stuff because that's just totally impractical trying to carry it the way that we use them. So what I'm actually going to do, clean it up, put the gator patch on there. It's going to take all the brunt. Now I won't use acetone for this. I'm actually using isopropyl alcohol to get uh, all the grime and stuff out of those little crevices that are in there from dragging it on the bottom. Now I'm going to pay a whole bunch of attention to the bottom of the kayak because we know that's going to take a huge part of the brunt so it's most likely going to be uh, where it scratches off the most. So the first thing I think I'm actually going to do is put my gator patch on before I even start to paint. Uh, tell you a little bit more about the gator patch. Pretty excited about this deal because like I said on the kayak that's, that's the part that usually gets, gets a hole knocked in it and you got to figure out how to fix it. But as I said, this is easy to use. Peel and stick. I'll take it out of the pack and show you. But it's sandable. It's paintable. You can drill holes in it. It doesn't shrink. All right. So here it is. It's three inches by six inches. You can actually cut this with just like a pair of scissors. But I'm actually going to leave it. It's got a little back on it, just like a sticker, just like I mentioned. And when I put it up on my kayak, I'm just going to peel that sticky back. Put it up there where I want it and then it's golden. So it's a real important like always to get it all good and clean before you go to apply the patch. Probably would be a good idea to have a pair of latex gloves on so you don't get oils on the sticky part of the fiberglass but I'm a freaking rebel. You see I've been getting a lot of scratchy marks right in here like that scratchy marks. But I just kind of took a piece of sandpaper and knocked some of those burrs down before I decided to do it. And I'm actually just going to apply it just right there. Just put it on just like you would a kill protector on your bass boat or, or your uh, runabout, whatever you have, whatever your big boat is that you like to use. Just take it on there and just stick it on. Peel and stick, baby. Peel and stick. What I'm going to do is take a little credit card and, and get some of those wrinkles out of it. You see I've got a few wrinkles in it. 
look real close I got a few wrinkles but I'm gonna actually get that out with a uh, credit card what I'm gonna do is just take my credit card just roll that over the edges press it on there really good this will help get down some of those air bubbles all right so all I'm gonna do I'm ready to paint now. I've got my gator patches installed. It's going to take a little while for those to actually cure. I'm actually going to tighten up some of these edges where you see I didn't get it right, sand that out and paint it. That's going to be good. But for now, I can uh, paint the top. Let's get started here. I got some gloss. I got what was cheapest. I got some gloss paint. I got some that was uh, some that paint that was actually uh, flat paint. I don't really care. I just want it to knock down this pink. All right, so we're getting a little, uh, getting into it now. You can see what it's starting to look like. I got to be honest with you, I'm kind of liking this pink and gray pretty good. But you can see, I, all I'm going to do is just paint large sections of this base color, the dark gray and the light gray, and then we're going to come back and put sort of like some type of pattern over the top of it. All right, so now we're going to go with the lighter gray color now. This color is actually flat. Oh, that's actually green. It's going to be pretty cool. Let's check it out. I think it's turning out pretty good. You know, um, what I like about this, this is a real cheap project. I think I got about 40 bucks tied up in it so far. So check it out and see what you think about it so far. Using that sort of like an olive green, a light gray, and I've got a darker gray. I think it's, uh, I think it's shaping up pretty nicely. No matter what happens and how this project turns out, no matter what happens, going to be much better than that salmon pink. I don't care what happens. to that heck yeah dude <laughs> much better so here's basically my base coat here of the top pretty much got it done at least the first coat anyway at the top is pretty much where I want it touch up that a little bit you can kind of see that pink coming through I think I did a pretty good job of not having too many drip marks or anything but now we gotta start on the bottom so I kind of jack kayak up, kayak up a little bit higher and we'll get started on this bottom section I'm not sure if I'm going to use the blue. I bought this like cobalt blue to maybe layer some patterns over the top of it with some stencils. I may or may not do that now because I'm just really feeling the way it looks right now. So I don't know if I'll actually get to do that. The top of it, it just completely transformed it into a totally different kayak. I mean, it just, God, it's just so much better. Folks, I think that looks pretty snazzy. I'm um, pretty much coming to a close of what I can do for the day. Right now, I'm just going to let this paint kind of dry for a little bit. And then I got some real neat stuff that I'm going to do once this paint dries. I'm going to actually put a few patterns over the top of that to make it look even way better than what we already got. So, keep following this vlog. I'm going to keep 
keep you guys in uh so it's gonna rain for like the next month i think with the hurricane coming i'm gonna be inside working on my kayak i'm gonna see listen in the comment section if you know of a good seating material that i can use for my kayak something that's comfortable and something that i can lift up Post that in the comments. I want to know. I know a lot of you guys are really into the uh, kayak build. There's something homemade or DIY I can make, or if there's something really cheap and easy that I can buy. It's extremely uh, streamlined and light, easy to use. Let me know about it. I want to buy it. So I'm gonna get uh, get some more seating in, finish my gator patch up over here, and then um, paint. Do a little bit more painting, and then we're gonna be done. I think this project's gonna turn out really good. I'm gonna be proud of it, a lot more proud of it than I was of that pink. So that's it, that's all for this video. I'm out guys, I'm about to go and check on my bass boat now. So let's go get that done.